Wednesday, everybody. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review review of the five-year-aged Asombroso Extra Añejo right here on the Teeth Hombre coming up next. Welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre, where today we're going to be, whoops, focus, come on, where today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of uh, the Asombroso Five Year Extra Nejo. It is, um, well, let's, let's talk a little bit about this tequila. When I first had it, it was being made at, um, at NOM 1146, which we all know is um, Enrique Fonseca's. Um, La Tequilenia, uh Distillery, they make good stuff. I've always really enjoyed everything that came out of there. And this was no exception. This was actually really good. <clears throat> but it has changed distilleries. It's no longer made at 1146. Um, it's made instead at, at 1459, which is uh, Selecto de Amatitan. And they have like 60 brands they make out of the distillery. And there's been, you know, like one... One brand out of there that I actually enjoy is called Demetrio. Um, it's a really nice tequila I've enjoyed, and it was you know, really nicely priced. It just actually wasn't wasn't bad quality at all. Um, but it, that's like been the only one that I've really said, okay, yeah, this is good. This is one that I want to keep on my shelf. Um, although um, Demetrio is not imported into California anymore, so I can't get it anymore. Um, otherwise, I would have it up on ferment still. So. Um, this is bottled in these bottles, and I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, they uh, used to include a, a top to it that rounded out the part of this that made it look like um, what some people refer to as a sex object. Um, I think it's more of like a genie bottle type of bottle. <laughs> um, it is a very unique bottle. Um, some people get pr kind of crude with what it looked like, and yeah, it kind of looks like that. So, um, but you've probably seen this on the shelf. They, uh, uh, some bottles, they have different bottles that range in different ages from what they've been do you know, aging. And they've been doing some special stuff too, um, where they, you're doing bourbon and bourbon barrels and doing all different kinds of barrels, wine barrels. They have the, the Rosa, which is done in like a rosé barrel or something. And so they have all these different um, types of aged expressions. And, um, and so this one is the five year. So let's talk about how this is made. They use, um, I'm a tea tennis in the Valle, so they use Valle Agave, it's um, valley stuff. And they um, use high pressure autoclave to cook it. Um, it's then roller mill to crush and extract the agave, the uh, sugars from the agave fibers, and then stainless steel fermented, and then twice um, distilled using stainless steel um, stills. It is, um, not as good as, you know, it, as what 1146, I think, used to do. I mean, I haven't tasted this yet, but just knowing the distillery, I don't think it's going to be as good, but we'll see. All right, so um, this is the five-year expression. It normally, went, when I originally was buying it, it was like $89. Now it's more along the lines of like 100 to 115 and A lot of times, if you uh, go to the Asombroso website, they do deals where you buy one bottle, you get one free type of thing. So um, you can end up paying 115 or something for the bottle and getting two bottles. So they do um, deals like that on them. Um, but I've had a lot of people ask me what I think about this. So that's why I selected it um, to do the review today. So um, so there you go. So uh, <laughs> um I wish, I wish they, they, you don't get the top to it now, which completes the total and complete look to this uh, anymore. You have to pay six dollars to buy it <laughs> if you want it. Um, but uh, if you look up the pictures of it, it's um, it definitely looks like something that uh, <laughs> that you could use for other things. I'm, I don't want to get into it. So. Um, We'll go ahead and get into the tasting portion and start talking about this tequila. So it has artificial cork in this uh, gold cap that's in this otherwise charming bottle. It has a gold seal on the front. So this is aged for uh, five years in new French oak is what they claim. 
Um, so new French oak barrels, brand new, not used for anything previously. Uh, and it's five years. So let's see what we get and see if I think it holds true to that. Because you know how you know how I am about French oak, right? I mean, it's no, it's no secret, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. We know about French oak. We know what you think about French oak. That's for sure, because it makes you want to sing. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, so you guys know about that. So let's uh, take a look at this and see what we got going. Uh, yeah, I just I saw this on the shelf today. I was like, you know, I got to do this one, get it over with, because people keep, keep asking me, Hey, hombre, what do you think about Asombroso? Blah, 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 blah. So here we go. <laughs> so look at it, this in the glass. It coats the glass really nicely. Look at those legs and tears. Look at how beautiful that looks. Look at that. I'm already salivating. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Still hasn't broken off the glass yet. And it's those legs and tears are still like, st look, there was a big one right there. Look at that. Go. more legs in a ZZ Top video I haven't said that in a while look at that so looking at the color of the uh, tequila itself it is a nice deep golden brown looks beautiful crystal clear um, this doesn't look bad at all looks delicious I'm already salivating you know how I am with French French oak I just love a good French oak I don't know why this camera doesn't like focusing right now let me see there it goes okay so, um, on the nose, <laughs> oh my gosh, mm, 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 mm. it smells absolutely delicious. It does. It smells delicious. It's, it smells so delicious. You guys, it's so good. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, um, it smells so good. It, it's, oh yeah. Incredibly good, incredibly good. It brings back memories. It, it, I'm, I'm about to cry. It brings back memories. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. All right, so, um, <laughs> It smells like my grandfather's bakery. My grandfather used to be a baker. Uh, I was a baker when I was younger. He, he's gone now. Um, but I have memories of when I used to go to um, Boca Raton, Florida um, to visit my grandfather, going into his bakery and, while he was baking. And he would basically open up the cabinets and like, hey, kids, come and grab whatever you want. And he made some of the best stuff you've ever tasted in your life his bakery items were so good and when you smell this oh it smells like a big beautiful vanilla cream cake type of thing oh it's just it smells it smells like a vanilla cupcake it smells so good okay now the problem is you don't want your tequila smelling like a vanilla cupcake but it smells good. It, there's nothing wrong. It smells. It smells wonderful. It smells great. I mean, you literally. It smells like dessert. It. it uh. And if you're somebody like me who, uh, who loves, you know, you, you guys have seen. I love pastries and, and bakery items. <laughs> I'm more of a chocolate person, but a really good vanilla cupcake or vanilla good cake. Uh, and this. It's every mark on the vanilla cupcake scale. It does. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cupcake. Now it's not what we want in a tequila, um, but it smells good. Okay, so let me not linger anymore on how much this smells like a really nice vanilla cupcake, and let's get in on the flavor profile of it. All right, it coats the mouth really nicely. I'm gonna need to. Hold on a second.
<laughs> All right, so it's hot. It's hot. You figure five years in a barrel, it would not be this hot. This is hot. It's burning. It's burning all the way down my throat right now. It's hot. Okay, so not only is it hot, it's not, it's 80 proof, right? And it, yeah, it's 40%. It's hot. Okay, and then secondly, it's got this, uh, what is that flavor? It starts off with this really bitter chemical uh, kind of flavor profile to it. And then you're picking up a little bit of vanilla and caramel um, flavor to it. Maybe a hint of butterscotch, but it's got this residual chemical bitter kind of flavor that's just sitting there. Um, and then on the, on the, when I'm, when I'm breathing here, I, I totally get, um, vanilla and butterscotch and stuff coming through on the, on the headspace on it. Um, but on the flavor profile, it's got a kind of a chemical bitter, um, soapy-esque kind of, um, flavor profile that I'm not really liking. Um, at all. So the nose on it is just so good though. I was hoping it would be more of the flavors coming through on the, even if it, even if it's ultimately sweet, like uh, additive wise, I was hoping it would, but it doesn't even deliver that on the flavor, on the flavor profile. Um, it's got this bitterness to it. Uh, chemical soap esque kind of bitterness that goes to leads to like vanilla and caramel. So I, I have no doubt this probably has some kind of additives in it. Um, and it's not even it's not even enjoyable to the point where where I can you know work my way through it with a cigar and stuff and just kind of enjoy. I was hoping it would be just more of this vanilla and in butterscotch you know additives in it to the point where it tastes tastes good but not natural and that way too i could still you know enjoy that with the cigar or whatever you know as a dessert type of thing um but it's got this really bad bitterness that just comes right off the bat Yeah, it's right, right up front. Oh. Mm. Ugh. Nasty bitterness. Oh. God. Oh. I got a big dose of it that time, and it's like, oh. And then there's like vanilla, vanilla and chocolate and stuff on the end. It's, it's gross. Okay, it's. I, I don't normally talk like this about stuff, but I just, I, I spent a hundred bucks on this when I bought it thinking, okay, it might be similar to what, what we got from, from El Ticaleno, El, sorry, La Ticaleno, but it's not, it's not, it's not good. Don't buy it. It's not good. No wonder why they're looking for investors. What happened? Oh, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I. So, um, on the agave scale, how would I rate this one? I would give it a single agave, a half a half of agave. It, it's horrible. It smells amazing, though. Oh, my God. It smells so good. But on the flavor wise, profile wise, it just tanks hardcore. Um, it's it's one of the worst extra Nijos I have ever tried it's not good it's not good don't buy it um if you do buy it don't say i told you to because it is not good all right there you go so i'm sorry i 
<clears throat> I was hoping for a nice alternative to, you know, less expensive tequila for Class Azul or something, you know? Um, but it, this has got the, a bitterness in the front of it that just, ugh, yuck. It is, it is not good. Um, all right, so there you go. Um, awesome Broso five year. Don't buy it. It's not good. Um, if I was to give it a rating on, on Tequila Matchmaker, I'd probably rate it somewhere in the fifties. It's not good. All right, so. Uh, that's it. So let's uh, see what our, our our members have to say, what their comments are. Can't wait to see what they say about this bottle. Yeah, it's not, it's, yeah, it's just a, a cool looking bottle. The stuff inside's not good. Hey, what's up, BBA 101 Boxing? Hola, hola, John. Picked up some Ocho and Yeho today. That's tonight's sipper. Oh, very nice. You're, you're sipping on a good sipper, at least. The facial expression spoke out loud. Yeah. Leave this one on the shelf, you guys. Don't don't bother with it. It's not good. I'm 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 really upset. I love I love a good French oak. Oh yeah, man. That that, that, that sounded nasty. It didn't sound like anything that made me want to sing. I'm not like my Ray Sal, baby. Oh yeah. Love my Ray Sal. Ray Sal makes me want to sing. Oh yeah. There you go. So it, this is not in any way, shape, or form in the same league as Ray Saul. Um, God, I can't even drink the rest of this anymore. Hold on a second. I need to, I need to change up something. Put this back in here because I'm not drinking it. When have you ever seen me pour something back into the bottle um, after drinking tequila? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do while I have everybody on here? You know, I did the tasting of the anger anger management tequila. And um Chris is like, oh you should just let it open up a little bit and try it later. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crack a little bit now and see if that'll help me get this flavor profile out of my mouth. That nasty bitterness that's like uh, uh. let's see if this is opened up a little bit. Uh. God, I've never, I've never on camera ever opened up another tequila to try to get the flavor of the previous one I was reviewing out of my mouth. But all right, that's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's better when you get a chance to open up a little bit more. You still get a, long, a lot of Jack Daniels in it. That That's taking care of the, the flavor that was in my mouth. It was really bad. So um, any other questions or comments, you guys? Um, that was horrible. It pisses me off. All right, so um, I don't see any more comments or questions. Any more comments or questions? Anything else about this tequila? All right, I guess not. Okay, you guys, so um, that's it. We'll do another review on Friday. Uh, and then don't forget, Saturday we're doing the um, <clears throat> the Saturday Night with the Ombre um, since we missed the last two Saturdays. Um, so Friday we'll have another review at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you check out that review. And uh, don't forget, too, if you've been wanting to get in on some of these special buys we're going to be doing, make sure you sign up uh, for your membership in the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective. Um, first uh, buy of the year should be probably about four weeks, three, four weeks out. So um, make sure you uh, you sign up for it and uh, and get ready because we're getting some really good tequilas and stuff coming. You knew that bottle was too... Yeah, it's just... It's that was that was I've had some really nice bo bottles that were awesome that the tequila is good inside. I mean, so, um, but that one was, was good. So, thanks for trying it for us. Yeah, Ooh. boy, taking one for the team is not the word for it. So, um, there's a hundred bucks down the, down the toilet as far as I'm concerned. 
What is it? I never liked us Broso. Only had the Blanco from a 50 milliliter bottle. Thought might have been a bad sample. No, it wasn't a bad sample bottle. <laughs> Thank you for taking. Yeah, no problem. I always take bullets for you guys. You know that. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> this tequila. Yeah. I wouldn't even call it tequila. It's not even good. I mean, it's. Oof. Yeah, raise, well, I need I need to wash it down with some some real French oak, um, extra nail. That was bad. Oof. All right, you guys. So, um, like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So leave the awesome Broso on the shelf. Don't touch it. You will not be happy if you do. Um, and until next time, like I always say, you know, life is too short to drink bad tequila so grab some good stuff grab some stuff that i recommend for my videos and um enjoy that instead and you'll be in good shape all right so have a great uh rest of your evening you guys uh have a great thursday and we'll see you friday for the next review and then look forward to saturday night with the hombre this weekend so um put that on your calendar make sure you don't miss it lots and lots of cool stuff to talk about uh and we have um might even have a guest. I may even work on getting a guest. So put it on your calendar. We'll see you then. All right, guys. All right. Salute. Bye.